Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So over two years ago, I demonstrated how to run Windows XP on your Android device. Now since then, hundreds of you have requested me to do an update video to that. So here I am again to show you how to run Windows XP on your Android device. Now like before, keep in mind that this is only a proof of concept and has no practical use to it whatsoever. And finally, to do this, you will need to have a bootable Windows XP ISO. And that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is install Windows XP to the blank disk image. Now to do this, we're going to be using QMO Manager because it closely resembles the environment of QMO on your phone. While it's not as fast as VirtualBox, it gets the job done. Inside of QMO Manager, create a new virtual machine. Name it whatever you like. Then allocate whatever size RAM that you want. Do not create any virtual disk images. Finally, hit finish. Then go to drives and double click on hard disk zero. Locate the blank disk image that you downloaded. Make sure that all file types are visible in order to see it. Then, double click on a CD-ROM and locate your Windows XP bootable ISO. Finally, you can increase the number of CPU cores for faster emulation. Then go up to the green arrow to start the VM. From this point on, all you need to do is go through the process of installing Windows XP. It will take about 25 minutes. After the installation completes, extract the sdl.zip. Rename your blank disk image to C, then transfer it to the sdl folder. Afterwards, open up the Bosch source text file and locate where it says C image. Change it to just C, then save and close it. From there, transfer the whole sdl folder to the root of your SD card or internal storage on your Android device. On your device, launch the Bosch emulator, and hopefully Windows XP will boot. If it doesn't boot, then it's probably the ISO you used, so try another. Remember, this isn't going to be fast, so you might have to wait 5 to 10 minutes until you actually get to the start screen. Overall, the performance is extremely slow. Even after 15 minutes, the start menu graphics weren't fully loaded. Like I said, this is a nice proof of concept, but it has no practical use to it. So you might as well forget about playing Minesweeper with this. And there you have it, how to run Windows XP on your Android device. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Now as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our galvanizing video. Thanks. Oh, <laughs>